Today we're gonna talk about the currently still ongoing event, Endgame. True to its name, this event offers players some more endgame oriented content, which is very reminiscent of Ark Knight's contingency contract. For those who don't know what CC is, here's a quick summary. It's a high difficulty event that allows you to pick between different options, called risks, to make the stage you are playing harder. Does this sound familiar? Because that's pretty close to what Endgame is trying to be. To be more specific, in Endgame, besides a handful of normal stages you have to clear, there's in total 6 boss stages. Felix, Vani, Umbrahulk, Gertzurde, the Deceptive Queen, and finally, the Desolate Monarch. Which, similarly to CC, can be made harder by picking different available risks, or how they are called here, strategies. But now, I ask myself, is this what we wanted? Let's find out what my thoughts about this are, by first going over the good, then the bad, and at the end, a possible future and needed changes for this type of event. Let's start with the good. After getting to experience all 6 boss stages Endgame has to offer, and even though I'm personally not the biggest fan of these kind of events, I have to say that this is definitely a step in the right direction as harder endgame content is very much needed to keep long-time players that want more challenging content interested in the game. And that's unfortunately everything positive I have to say for now. Let's move on to the bad. The by far most obvious flaw in endgame was the lack of options to allow more players a fair shot at getting a higher score without needing breakthroughs or must-have characters. This was quite apparent from the get-go, as the ads in the first boss fight that was available made the fight with additional risks quite challenging if you couldn't finish Felix off in one turn. I hate these guys. And while this isn't true for all of the six bosses, this problem is still present in a lot of them. The next thing I want to talk about is the lack of rewards. While I think that the amount of Loom Amber was fine, there should have been a lot more EXP, Nitium and Material rewards. As these are more important than ever, because you actually need high leveled characters to even have a chance at some of these high point clears. And the 120 daily prisms we got for the first few days definitely weren't enough for that. Let's finish this up by talking about the future. As I mentioned earlier, I definitely think that this type of event should return on a regular basis. But for that to be a success, a bunch of changes need to be made. Here are some suggestions from me. Add some more risks to choose from to allow for a higher number of easily accessible strategies or some more creativity, and or introduce a second wave of easier risks in the second week of the event similarly to how it is in Ark Knights. Also in that case, introduce some kind of special one week clear emblem. More rewards. Especially in the EXP and material department, to give newer players a slightly better chance at at least clearing lower difficulties. Change the reward system to trading points for rewards in a shop, as this allows players that don't want to or are not able to clear high difficulty fights to at least get the most important rewards. Lastly, maybe it's just me, but I want to see a bit more creativity. While I think that a lot of these boss fights were fine for the first run of this type of event, a lot of them were just copy-paste from other content. So I really hope that we are going to see a lot more brand new bosses the next time. All in all, while this type of event is definitely not newbie friendly by any stretch of the imagination, it is a needed evil to satisfy players that are looking for a challenge, at least temporary, and I think that with some of the changes I suggested, the next time we see this event, it will be a lot better experience for, hopefully, all of us. What are your thoughts about this event? What changes would you like to see? Please just comment down below. I really want to hear your thoughts on this. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. That was all from me. Have a nice day and see you next time.